Now at five, a Huntsville City Council member calls another member's proposal to give all city employees a one-time payment to help out with surging costs of living, pandering during an election year. Bill Kling wants the city to spend an estimated $1.4 million surplus in the budget as a one-time payment of about $300 extra to every city employee. Way 31's Matt Crozel is live at City Hall. And Matt, the plan for direct payments is something Kling says city employees deserve, but you spoke with another council person who's already speaking out against that idea. So, Dan, this impacts about 2,300 full-time and part-time employees here at the city of Huntsville. Kling plans on making this proposal uh, at the next city council meeting on Thursday, but you won't have to wait until that meeting to find out exactly how another council person, Frances Acreage, feels about it. Already, she tells me it is not smart for the city right now. The city's finance department telling me that the 2022 city budget already includes a 3% cost of living adjustment for employees who also receive an annual step increase on their employment anniversary. Those two actions together could result in about 5 to 8 percent increase on those salaries, depending on how long an employee has served the city. But Francis says it's more than fair. And I feel like it's pandering. It, 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 it's, um, I respect my, the, the, the compassion that Mr. Kling has. I don't respect this idea that we can just give people $300 and hope that that will see them through, say, the next six months of inflation. So under Kling's proposal, all city employees, no matter their years of service or rank with the city, would receive the same amount equally. Right now, that surplus doesn't actually exist. It's just anticipated, so it's unclear what would happen with the remaining part of that surplus. We did the math, and there's about a half a million dollars there if it all comes through. So we'll have to find out on Thursday night what Kling would like to do with that money. And again, the whole city council will have to vote on this thing. Acreage is kind of worried, though, that if they spend that surplus on these payments, it could leave the city short because of the rising fuel costs that the city is having to pay as well. She thinks the money would be better spent there and to take a more conservative look at all of this. Reporting live in Huntsville, Matt Kroschel, Way 31 News.